Happy fucking Friday, B's and G's. How have you guys been? Um, been a minute, I guess. Sorry, I'm going to adjust this camera in just a scotch so you don't see the, boop, the electrical outlets over there. Granted, who cares? Uh, we'll probably get cut out. Um, yeah, so it's been a minute. I uh, hope you guys have been doing well. Um, not too much going on. Um, let's see. I have been busting my hump, cheese making. Um, there's, let's see, I'll probably chuck up a picture or, or two over here. Um, there's an orange cheese video coming out here in the next like day or so. Um, I'm doing a how-to. Did a really simple, um, basically a um, kind of a Colby, but like an orange, just an orange cheese, just for you, Secor. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, it's pretty simple. Just a pressed cheese. Um, you know, I, I'll put it boop, up there or it'll scroll up or do something. It looks absolutely fake, um, but I promise you no Photoshop was used in the making of this cheese. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's a quick ager. Should be, um, should be done aging in a couple, maybe a couple months. Um, I'll probably do a part two of that video, um, for you, Mash. I'll, I'm gonna wax it. So, um, basically it's just, uh, right now it's dried out, it's ready to go. Um, it's been sitting in the cave and I want to age it for a little bit longer, um, and I don't want it to pick up any of the other um, little bits that are floating around. I've got right now in the cave, um, in its own little in its own little case, I've got the so beer um, the so beer uh, gorgonzola dolce that's doing really well over there. Um, so that's getting getting close, but it's got lots of little stuff on it that wants to get on other cheese. So I'm kind of keeping that one by itself. I've got um, some of the saint marc the little jar cheeses that have been kind of floating out and about there. Um, so yeah, those those are in there. And so there's a bunch of stuff that just like, I kind of don't want this little this little Colby to get, um, to get contaminated, not contaminated, but I don't want to cross the streams. Um, Let's see what else. I got a couple other things right here. So yeah, I've gotten some um, two more drops for um, beers that I'm using for bromage cheese. I'm not gonna say anything about them right now, but yeah, I've got uh, two more um, shipments from individuals who I've kind of reached out to. I want to combine some stuff, so I'm stoked about the two of those. I have a sourcing issue, so I'm just trying to kind of figure that one out. Um, so, but that's, um, it's kind of getting hammered out. Uh, let's see, what else do we have going on? Um, to add to sort of the, the fuck around with, um, I've been doing kombucha. Now you saw it the last time I think I had a strawberry sage, um, that was that was just a test flavor that I've been kind of playing around with. I've been going ham with these things. Um, this right here is actually um, black currant and apricot. Cheers, by the way. Um, so yeah, I've been doing doing these kind of on the side, um, single batch or single gallons kind of building the scoby up because um, I'm going to start doing five gallon batches just trying to decide what the um, the best option is. This apricot uh, black currant I used some of the amaretti fu uh, fruit pu puree the stuff that's in a pump bottle. Um, that stuff worked really well for flavoring. It doesn't work as well um, to add enough sugar to actually create the carbonation. This one though had some black currant juice so you can kind of see sorry the dirty glass but this one's got this one's got carbonation. This one's well carved. Um, 
it's it's nice it's like kind of sweet from the apricot but then the current gets like a little um sharp little bite right towards the end which is pretty awesome um it's actually a really nice combo um that i don't think i ordinarily would have put put the two together but they actually work really really well uh really well together so i've been doing these um I've been using this drag, these dragon pearls, um, these little dragon pearls for the tea. It's this black tea. It's really, it's actually pretty cool. Um, I don't have any pictures of it. If I find a picture, I'll chuck it up in here. Um, but yeah, so they make a really decent black tea. Um, it's just kind of one of these things I've been fucking around with, um, sort of during my, during this hiatus. So yeah, this one, uh, It was a whole lot of fun. And then this one, or I'm double fisting, but I can do that. This one has no carb. Flat as. Um, yeah, flat. Um, but the flavor is pretty wicked, actually. So this, see it's in my black dog, black dog mug. Cheers, Lormo. Um, this one is mosaic. So I've dry hopped um, the batch with mosaic. Probably about, I think it was about a little over half of an ounce. Um, so it's just like, I mean, it's just super. I mean, straight away. Oh, mad citrus. Um, kind of berry citrus, actually. And just a little bit, kind of a, like, gluey, actually, a little bit of, like, resin, but mixed with that tea, which is a really cool combo. Um, so you kind of get that, that wet leaves teaness, but then just sweet little bitter bite of um, a mosaic. That is a whole lot of fun. So, um, that's probably, yeah, and then that, you kind of get that, how mosaic finishes out kind of in that, like, dry, um, it, it is tannic, actually. So it kind of finishes in that little bit of a dry tannic. It's nice. Um, so that's probably going to be one of the first five-gallon batches, um, that I do. It's not carving. And that's one of the reasons I want to try doing this um, in a five-gallon batch because I want to do uh, five gallons and force carb it. And, you know, I want to be able to get this, sorry, that level of carb and this flat as a board. Um, kombucha. She's gotten her boobies. Oh, <laughs> I'd better go get my magnifying glass. <laughs> so, I could back sweeten. Um, it's sweet enough, and to you know, to get the kombucha to feed the scoby as you're doing it. I mean, it's you got to have a pretty sweet base to begin with. Um, I've tried some barley tea mixed with DME, which actually was a pretty decent um, combo, which made it pretty sweet. Um, but I don't think that that there's still enough. There's enough residual sugar and sweetness in there when I pull it off into like a secondary to actually create that carb. So I want to see what happens if I do it and then force carb it and then just serve it out of a keg as opposed to the bottles and jars that I've been doing now. Um, so yeah, I've got that. I've done so. I've done a tart cherry. I've done peach. I've done um, black currant, black currant and apricot, um, blood orange and tangerine or clementine. Actually, the little cuties. I think those are clementines. Actually, not tangerines. Either way, one of those things. Um, let's see, Con Concord grape, which was actually a pretty interesting flavor too. A little too sweet. Kind of more like grape juice than anything. So really not that. Um, not that great. Um, 
I want to do pineapple and rosemary. That's kind of on the list, um, as well as uh, guava. Um, and I'm not sure if, if I want to go like the pineapple and rosemary, go like a guava and something else. Sage works really well. Summer's coming, so basil would be nice, but I don't think I really like the guava basil idea. So, I don't know, mango, basil, possibly. Um, I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, so that's kind of that's kind of where I've been at, um, knocking these things out. Uh, I might, you know, start turning, start doing videos again on a weekly um, bucket Friday with these. Fuckers, I don't think I can make one that I can split in half, but I'm sure we can figure something out. Um, oh, last little bit. Um, so that's all like the kombucha and cheese related stuff. You can stop here if you want. Uh, but I kind of have one more thing I want to touch on. Um, I want to, I'm actually, so here, take a step back. Um, in June, and those of you who are kind of friends with me on Facebook have seen that I posted, you know, you've seen that I posted this a while ago, um, or you may have seen it. Um, if you didn't, I'm going to catch it up right quick. I'm, right now, it doesn't look like it, but I've been riding, um, trying to ride my um, road bike, with the weather permitting, a fair, a fair bit. Um, so I'm trying to get in, you know, maybe 30, 40 miles um, every other day if I can. It's not really happening. The weather's been shit. Um, but in, for the month of June, I'm actually riding, um, it's the Great Cycle Challenge. I'm pretty sure there's a U, it's U.S., but it might actually be, um, elsewhere. But basically for the month of June, um, you set a goal and, uh, both a, uh, financial goal and a, and a, uh, mileage goal. I'm trying to do, I just made it really easy, trying to do two blocks of 500. So, you know, raise whatever I can and then ride for 500 miles. Um, I'll push more if I possibly, if I possibly can, which I think that I should be able to throughout the entire month. Um, we're kind of going away a little bit, but whatever. Um, but I'm kind of hoping to see if I can't leverage the power of our social media and social network to see if anybody is interested and anyone wants to donate. Um, basically, the cycle challenge is to um, raise money for cancer research and specifically cancer research for kids. Um, you know, obviously being being a dad, um, the the little efforts and um, kids have kids are a huge part of part of my life. Always have been. Um, you know, so. It's it's one of those things that I want to try to do what I can so that you know, folks, you know we can we can kind of stomp this out, at least give it a you know the old college try. So um, because I'm not smart enough to be a doctor, I'm trying to do what I my level best to see what I can. Um, so yeah, I'm I'll put the link down either below or put a thing up here. Um, you know, if y'all feel like donating, wicked. Um, you know, even just checking in, um, you know, throughout the entire month, you know, to push a, push a tubby, um, you know, help me move up as I'm, as I'm riding. Uh, you know, that would be freaking awesome. Um, you know, it's, like I said, it's, I'm going to try to do, I'll do more if I absolutely can. Um, and so I'm going to push to make sure that I, pot, that I can. So yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. If y'all can, y'all rock. Um, if you can't, I, I believe me, I completely understand. Um, so anywho, thank you. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'll probably be doing these a little bit more often now. Um, you know, just start getting back into Friday swing. Um, I hope you guys have been doing well. Cheese video is on its way, the how-to, so look for it. It's coming up, um, both parts, if I do two parts or what have you. And then the um, bromage video for, if I do a bromage video, somehow we'll be getting that one in for, um, like I said, the so beer. 
uh, Dolce. So, Gorgonzola Dolce. Anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Enjoy your weekend. Happy Fuck It Friday, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace. What the fuck are you talking about?